Welcome to EPG Part Sala. Myself Chandrasekhar Varua, working as Assistant Professor in Indian Institute of Tourism and Travel Management, Gwalior. Our today's topic is guiding at a museum, which covers introduction. What is a museum? Purpose of a museum? Planning a museum tour? Tour guiding in a museum? Popular museum of the world? Classification of museums, popular museum tours, museum professionals, summary, keywords, questions. Introduction. Museum is the place where a collection of old artwork, artifacts, excavated things is kept. Museum is a place where tourists visit and pays attention and has have interest to know facts about the collection. What is a museum? The English word museum is derived from the Latin language which means museum or rarely. In Hindi it is Azayab Ghar. Museum in India are one of the very important attraction in every city. Museum is an organization that cares for conservation of valuable items. These items could be valuable due to its historical importance, rarely found in the world or any other reason. There are about 55,000 museums in 202 countries in the world. Museums are categories into many categories. Important are palace museum, archaeological museum. Mostly placed museums are maintained and run by the past rulers. Primarily, those who have many collections of their generations and displaying galleries. If we talk Golden Triangle of India, Jaipur is one of the city where famous city palace museum is visited by almost all domestic and international tourists. Those who are on the tour of Jaipur as display and museum are in many sections. Galleries. Every tourist is keen to look and take pictures, photographs of these galleries which are officially allowed to visit between 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. with a proper applicable entry fee. During the visit of these palace museums, some of the artifact artifacts displayed are unique which are not commonly seen in other museums. And they are particularly known for socially known for important artifacts that may be paintings, arms and weapons, traditional royal family dresses, turban which is known as pagri, they are royal throne, crockery, furniture, palanquin, howda, chariot, various activity rooms, diving, come swimming, pool, billiards, snooker room, dining hall, central lawn, come garden, with big fountains, various replicas of European countries, craft furnitures made of sandalwood, ivory, crystal glass, ebony wood, walnut, etc. Some of the crystal displays are unique. They may be in the form of chandeliers, royal swing, that is jhula, furniture, precious crystal bowl, flower pot, etc. Old carpets, especially Persian, used on the floor or maybe as wall hangings, ivory toys, gallery, famous for various trophies, mementos, received during the visit of various foreign countries, stuffed animals, like especially tigers, vision, jungle, jungle bhesa, spotted deer and other varieties of animals as they are hunting trophies. Museums in India are considered to be very important, especially to the young children and youth to understand the past history and civilization. In reference to the present context, young youth can understand their lifestyle and various details which are displayed near to each artifact which shows their name, period and location. They are found or purchased. which enables to understand deep in knowledge and comparative study from one palace museum to another can be possible. 
Some of the palace museums in India are unique and worth to visit for every tourist. Some of them are Palace Museum of Udaipur, which is famous for many collections, and they are categorized like Crystal Glass Museum, Vintage Car Museum, City Palace Museum, and Silver Museum, etc. And these palace museums also allow normal photography as well as for the purpose of commercial filming of that is with a special fee basis in Jodhpur. Famous Palace Museum is inside the Mehrangar Fort, which displays big number of artifacts like various chariots, rath for the religious ceremony, purposefully hoda for a traditional elephant ride, or maybe hunting hodas to keep some arms and weapons in a given space. And number of other displays are in the museum. Jai Vilas Palace of Gwalior offers nearly 50 galleries to visit where collection of Sindhya dynasty are richly displayed with proper electric light, focusing and highlighting the various objects as a souvenir received from worldwide countries in their famous Chinese gallery are food testing plates which checks the food and warn about the poisonous content in the food, which changes the color of the plate or plate may split. If food is not in the proposed order, magic mirrors, a famous Napoleon Bonaparte table gifted by the France, Belgium crystal glass fountain that is world's largest chandelier in Darbar Hall, each one consists of three and a half ton weight. Both are equal in size and weight. It is possible to see largest carpet of Asia in Darbar Hall, single space size that is by 60, 100 feet by 60 feet and in dining hall, the very famous silver train. It consists of 24 kilograms of silver with seven bottles as per the spelling is in Sindhya name, which serves liquor, dry fruits and cigar to the royal family guests. Another important attraction is silver buggy, that is silver carriage, in which 48 kilogram silver work is visible, which was last used in the 1961 by the then Maharaja, His Highness Sir Jivaji Rao Sindhya. It is used by three generations on the Dasera festival as these museums are considered to be the modern museum and attracts many people as these museums are in category of private museums, even they are highly recommended in the program. In some of the private palace museum, some of the activities are organized for special interest tourists. And that may be visit of museum in evening with various lightings that may be colorful and live performance of classical singing, dances with a classical instrument as well as classical form of dances by the local artisans on a regular basis. Some of the MOUs are between these private museum to public sector companies are signed to facilitate the premium category of international tourists traveling via luxurious tourist trains that is maybe like Palace on Wheels, Maharaja Express, Golden Chariot, Deccan Odyssey, Royal Rajasthan, etc. When tourists are traveling with these luxurious trains paying high package cost and they are in the category of high-end tourists. A special welcome with red carpet are being organized with traditional warm welcome that is with tikka mark on the forehead, garlanding Indian way to the welcome with traditional Indian welcome drink and they have an opportunity to enjoy and celebrate these functions within the premises of Palace Museum keeping their high safety and security and they are privileged category. In another category of museum that is archaeological museums are another major attractions as Ministry of Culture, Government of India and State Archaeological Department, Government of Culture, they take care and responsible into the two categories of museums named as Central Archaeological Survey of India Museum and State Archaeology Museum. If we talk from capital of the country, New Delhi, where the famous National Museum, 
which is spread in very large area and building itself is a great attraction with many floor rooms and the floors are in the museum there may be possibility that one you enter in the museum one day may not be enough to visit study and to understand the various period artifacts if we start from the archaeological sculpture as india's history is very ancient and number of invaders attack the very religious sites in india and broken the pieces of temples are very well kept and as per their display of tag easy to understand the name period and location which enables the reading of the iconography as hindu religion believe in three dev and that is brahma vishnu and shiva and they are consorts namely brahma's wife saraswati goddess of knowledge vishnu's wife lakshmi goddess of wealth and shiva's wife named parvati some of the panels shows various incarnations of lord vishnu dancing postures of lord ganesha lord of intellect and saptamatrika the various manifestation forms of lord shiva nayak nayika yaksh yakshini various door panels of temples language inscriptions especially in sanskrit pali and these museums there are famous terracotta displays painting sections as in india there are various schools known for their paintings art like mathura school of paintings rajput paintings in rajasthan madhubani paintings from bihar etc and painting work can be on stone cloths paper wooden etc during the visit of these museums the figure sculpture their facial expressions body gestures and ornamentations are the major attraction to see and one can imagine how beautiful artisans are made i mean carved thousands years before with only tools chisels and hammer during the visit of these archaeological museum some of these sculptures they shows the various postures of a nayika and doing her makeup tying bracelets wearing earrings and preparing and tying heavy clothing to attract nayak in continuation another important displays are meditation postures of lord buddha wearing the light transparent cloths and sitting in padmasana posture and some of these sculptures are also shows the various previous life of lord buddhas which is known as bodhi sattva and various sign that shows the presence of lord buddha in the form of sculpture and the next one are jain tirthankars starting from first jain tirthankara named lord adinath he is also known with another name lord rishabnath up to the last 24th that is lord mahavira and all these 24 tirthankars are represented by different signage symbols and represent the jain religion in museum another attractions are arms and weapons gallery heavy cannons big long swords long rifles pistols gunpowder boxes as they may be made of ivory various bow and arrow which were used during the battle or maybe for purpose of hunting as the world witnessed to world war and in these galleries some of the displays are concerned to the first aid purpose of a museum purpose of museums varies place to place and culture to culture but mostly basic purpose of museum is to interpret preserve collect and displays items of artistic cultural scientific importance for education to the public or masses at one place so the visit to a museum would be entertaining and enlightening also planning a museum tour for tourists it is a simple activity or part of the tour but a tour guide must plan a museum tour well in advance he must visit and revisit the museum till he gets proper knowledge about the things kept there where period of collection when it was established what was the purpose of the museum and route to follow inside the museum tour guide must guess probable questions tourist may ask and ready with the answers 
tour guiding in a museum for museum tour guiding you must have knowledge about the things period whether it is original or duplicate science museum miniature paintings terracotta work sculptures arms and weapons furniture coins traditional dresses turbans carpet textiles pagadi therefore tour guide must also have good oratorship sense of timings as museum timings are limited and important tour guide must have data about collection and must be able to justify his statement before taking a tour group to the museum tour guide must know why people visit museum probable answer are they feel good people feel that they are spending good time in collecting knowledge about the past it is a cool place when you are going to a place and not visiting museum it means your visit is incomplete it makes you smarter and informative when you are visiting museum you are smarter your kids will collect good information we can perceive museum as a classroom out of college where anyone can collect knowledge in interesting manner it is a source of inspiration museum is a source of inspiration keeps generations together we may know our past and pass on to the recent generation by taking them to museum education museum visit could be a part of education many students research scholars visit museum to learn and see practically museum is a great source of inspiration for many people for example if you are a student of anthropology it is difficult to understand many aspects of human development through books but by visiting manav sangrahalaya bhopal madhya pradesh you can see the human development it is easy to remember popular museum of the world popular museum of the world will help you to understand what is the purpose of museum these museums are lower museum it is located in paris in france it has good collection from egypt asia greek and rome hermitage museum it has largest collection of paintings the british museum the egyptian museum ufizi the met metropolitan museum of art moma the vatican museum prado the national archaeology museum it is in greece classification of museums museums can be classified on the basis of their purpose like art museum art museum includes art work fine art architectural museum from architectural museums you can collect information about architectural styles architectural development etc archaeology museum archaeological museums specialize specializes in the display of archaeological items in the museum biographical museum biographical museums are related to the life history of one person or many people working in some area anthropology museum anthropological museums are related to anthropology or development of human with the time by visiting an anthropo anthropological museum we can understand and develop knowledge about human's history car museums a car museum deals with classic cars its history and their developments ethnology museums children's museums are established with the objective of informal learning for children here you may find uh, simulators etc here children can learn many things in fun through devices toys etc normally it has a good collection of images photos pictures cartoons charts tables models maps etc concerning the subjects taught in school level design museum various kind of designs are displayed in a sign museums these designs may be product design industrial design etc here you can see how designs changes with the time ergonomics in designs of many things mobile museum you must be aware about changes in the mobile technology in short time it gives idea about changes in the 
technical aspects of mobile communication. Computing open air museums, open air museums is not confined with four walls. Science museum, here you will find scientific development cases. Here visitors can also learn many scientific information about invention. They can see devices, medical museum. It is related to the changes in medical sciences. Memorial museums, memorial museums are established in the memory of someone. Military museum displays arms, weapons, tanks, uniforms of army, ships, aircraft, models, things or gadgets used by defense personals. Maritime Museum. Uh, maritime Museums has a collection of boats, ships, submarines, etc. and people using maritimes for business or other purpose. Virtual Museum. Virtual Museums are used to recreate the scene which cannot be developed physically or in physical form. For example, there is a museum in a country like Cambodia where one hospital is virtually recreated to give glimpses of people suffering in world war. A specialized museum. A specialized museums are specialized in one area that may be natural history museum. Museums can also be divided in two classes. That is one private museum, two second is government museums. Popular museum tours, a tour group, visited museum maintained by the Archaeological Survey of India for example, at Gwalior Fort as a part of tour to Gwalior. It is located on Gwalior Fort. There is a good collection of excavated things up to 4th century BC. In this collection, you can see Lord Vishnu, Lord Shiva and pearls, Ganesha. And these things are excavated from the places like Sionia, that is in Morena district of Madhya Pradesh, Salarjang Museum. Salarjang Museum is a famous museum in Hyderabad. It has good collection of belongings of rulers of Hyderabad. It takes around three hours to go through each and every display. And here you will find good security arrangements and tour guide will help you to take proper route and go through all items in systematic manners. Jaivilas Palace, Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh. Jaivilas Palace is located in Gwalior and it has a good collection of furniture imported from Paris. Glass that is from Belgium, cars including the Rolls Royce, carpets having pictures of famous personalities since like thousands of years, garments, buggy, paintings, chandeliers, clocks, etc. A complete tour of Javelas Museum takes around one hour. Manav Sangrahale in Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. Manav Sangrahale is located in Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. It is related to human development. National Museum, New Delhi. National Museum is located in New Delhi. It has a great collection of artwork, artifacts, icons, paintings, etc. You must have full day to see it completely. Entry to this museum is on payment basis. Here you can see collections of objects received from many locations. It is among top museum in the country. Museum professionals a tour guide must know museum professionals and their job. Description, normally museum professionals are curator, collection management, registrar, educator, conservator, exhibit, designer, curator is responsible for research of objects in the museum. Collection, monument is responsible for hands-on care of objects and its movement. Registrar is a record keeper. He is responsible for documentation. Educator educates people about the objects and importance of museum and utilize collection exhibit designer decided the layout and how to exhibit all the objects. Conservator deals with the restoration and repair of objects. Summary museum is place where collection of many things is kept for display to the visitors People visit museum as they find it interesting, informative, good way to learn our glorious past, etc. There are many museums in India. Most popular museums are like Salarjang Museum, National Museum, etc. Museum can be private museum or government museums. 
a tour guide guiding in a museum must have good knowledge about art, work, artifacts, collection and its importance. He must have interest in archaeology, history and different countries. He must be a disciplined man. Some keywords used are yaksh, nayak, artifacts, monolithic, museology, curator, conservator, educator, exhibit, designer, world museum, community. Some questions may be, what is museum? What are the qualities of a museum tour guide? Name any 10 items normally found in a museum. Do you feel that museum guiding is a challenging job? Justify your statement. So with all these, I end up and I summary my lecture. Thank you very much.